What's up YouTube? Welcome to another series here. I've got the London system for you guys. This is an opening that's special to me. I think it's a big reason why I became a grandmaster. Uh, I think I'm very good at the opening and I've got some tips and tricks that I'm hoping to teach you guys along the way here as we start at 800 ELO and work our way up. I will only be able to include the games with the white pieces, of course, but I decided to run this uh, series idea anyway, so if you see some jumps in rating, that's probably why. Enjoy the series! Let's go Bishop F4. That London start. Knight C6, what's with this move? Why is everyone playing it? Whenever I see this, I don't just go for uh, C3, I usually like to play C4. There's usually three options here because when you play C4, pro tip, never take uh, doubled F pawns like this. When you place pawn on C3, then you can do this because then your center is strengthened. But once you play C4, if you allow this, then these pawns are going to trade and you're going to be left with an isolated pawn. Not usually good. Um, so usually bishop goes back to G3 or you take, or if there's a knight here, you can sometimes pin the knight. Here I can't pin the knight, so definitely leaning more towards taking in this particular case, but you have some options. You tried habits and your results were so bad you got depressed, turned to a life of crime and got arrested shortly thereafter. And you just got out of prison. Well, young Ajax, you probably don't know how the world works because you've been been away for so long, but I'll explain it to you. So this is actually a, a toll booth zone. So as you pass through here, you're going to have to donate your Twitch Prime. Um, so if you could just do that, the world has changed a little bit, maybe since you went in the pen. So as you pass through, just drop off your Twitch Prime and uh, you'll be right on your way. Young Ajax has subscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you, uh, Young Ajax. There you go. That's how you do it. Everyone else is doing the exact same thing. Appreciate you, Young Ajax. You can proceed to secondary screening now, where uh, we'll just be taking a $20 donation from you, and then uh, we'll get you into tertiary. Appreciate you, uh, Young Ajax. Thanks a lot for the Prime sub, my man. Hey, anyone that had their life affected by habits, you know, is one of us. Young Ajax, with a name like that, you already know he's set. Like, I'm not concerned for young Ajax. He can always turn to rap music, you know? Young Ajax. My dude is not gonna have any problems. Thanks, Grick, for the two months with Prime. Papek with the 16 months also Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, Young Ajax kind of just sounds like a little more like kind of street vibes. But he could be European, you know, could be like a Dutch bra. Young Ajax, but I just, uh, I figured not. I figured not. There is an Ajax in Ontario. Appreciate the prime though, dude. Oh, you're American. Well, young Ajax, I've never been happier to meet an American than this moment right here. Exclamation mark factor, young Ajax. Why don't you type that in chat right now? Let me know what you think. 
exclamation mark factor. Right, so I got a great thing. I got a great deal for you. You know, you're fresh out of prison. What do you need straight out of prison? You need some meals. And you probably don't even own utensils, cooking supplies, you know, uh, an oven. But what you can do is you can head over to supermarket. They got some, uh, they got some microwaves in the supermarkets and you can use your microwave and you can heat up your factor meal so you order factor 120 dollars off using our code there queen b6 please thank you um this guy's face right now <laughs> hey we got some white beezes feels good man Feels good, man. All right, I'm going for the early H3. Another pro tip. When people do this, never play C4. Like, if there was any desire to play C4, your opponent's just gonna play C5 in every line. It's not worth, not worth the pain. Go C3, always capture this way. Too symmetrical this way. You need to go like that. I'm kind of hopeful that he plays this move. Get to talk about that uh, that structure a little bit. Yeah, usually in the middle game, in positions like this, I like to play in the center of the board and on the king side. So queen b3 is a fantastic move here. I get it, right? Queen takes queen, whatever. But if I have the option, I'm in the middle game, I'll probably play rook b1 most of the time. Just because I want to keep the queens on and uh, keep a little bit more play in the position. The 2-2-6. Two, two, Thanks for the 100 bits. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we can do that after I'm uh, done playing here. Knight takes d7, knight takes d7. It's got it covered for now. I mean, we're doing... We're following the basic London principles. I mean, B2 is the weakness, so we're defending that. But otherwise, everything defends everything. Got our H3 in. Our bishop's safe from stuff like that. Bishops are on their perfect squares. Rook on the semi-open file. This move is often... Right now, he's got this. But if they ever play H6, knight takes G6 is a great tactic to know about. Thinking about tucking the bishop back. Um, I kind of want to play this, but I'm wondering how, how annoying knight c4 is. Because he, he takes and he goes knight d5 in the end. I don't really love it. So I'm going to play this. Gets me out of a knight d5. Um, entices h6, which is always great for this.
Okay, these are great moves to see. My bishop just got 50 times better. H4 is available. Knight is hanging. All good things. Knight g4 looks like a good move. F4. Oh my god. How do you play this move? How do you play this move? This move looks pretty tempting, but if you find his bishop f5, I don't think we're going to mate him right away. Whereas here, I think we're going to mate him right away. That is a good move. Can still take this. Queen h4, queen h7 should lead to mate. Problem is if he plays king f8, and then we have bishop e5. Bishop e5, f6, queen h6, king f7, queen h7, king e6, bishop f5 is mate. Queen h7. King f8, bishop g6 also leads to me. This should be a checkmate. Not completely by force. Not all with checks, but... Ooh. <laughs> King there straight away. We got an alpha. I think we continue with the same move. He hung his knight here, which was uh, just the end of the game. But it's not that clear what he was supposed to do. Position is just good for white. This is like a dream. You get this trade, which usually benefits white to have the open file. Great outpost, safe king, space for the bishop, every piece on their ideal square. I've got one piece that's not great, but, you know, if black's going to move their queen to b6 to attack that pawn, I don't mind having a rook there defending it. Seems like a good trade-off. Oh, I, I like all the Canadian games, though. These are nice. More Canadian opponents. Okay, knight d7. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never seen that move before. Looks like it might just transpose. Whoa, whoa, okay. Big Jeff over here. Big Jeff. A doubly, thanks for the five gifted subs. That's right, we did get the white pieces. And hey, you did come up with a really difficult challenge if my next game was with the white pieces, five subs. So I respect it. Basil, thanks for the, was that 23? Almost at the two years. Almost rocking that new badge. You're chilling at work in Oakville. Whereabouts am I? 
you have sent three messages in the channel in your in your illustrious career since following an hour ago two of them have been that you're at work in oakville where am i this means a lot to you i can tell i'm in toronto the most exciting thing people do in oakville is ask and honestly just ensure that no one else is in oakville I'm, I'm in Toronto, buddy. That's where I am. You thought I was in Vancouver? Why? Why do you think I'm in Vancouver? What, what led you to believe that I'm in Vancouver? I'm really curious. I never posted a photo about Vancouver. I don't speak about Vancouver. Like, I don't know Vancouver like that. <laughs> Vancouver is such like, you know, I get Calgary or Montreal. But Vancouver. Meanwhile, Big Jeff over here is certainly uh, giving me the old uh, college try. How are you going to drop that and not tell me the conversation? Continuous Z. I did have an epic beard at one point. So I came up in conversation. What was the conversation? Let's hear it. What's going on, Fred? This guy is thirsty for that checkmate. Thirsty. He played knight d5 and then he was like, nah, hang on a sec. I miss my calling in life. C4 is a free pawn, yes, but I'm I'm on like uh, calculation drugs right now, so just bear with me. should work. And otherwise, bishop c5. Go, Jeff. Go, Jeff Lawson. Was there queen c6 instead of queen a5? Absolutely. But uh, I don't think it was possible. If you saw the game, you'll notice that here my opponent played queen takes a5. Now, queen c6 looks like a better move than queen takes a5 at first glance, but it, it actually wasn't, wasn't possible. 
Surely my opponent would have played it. Are you insulting my opponent? Are you insulting Jeff? When Jeff Lawson gets insulted, all Jeffs get insulted. So you're saying that there was a good move and Jeff didn't just, he just chose not to play it. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're insinuating about Jeff Lawson here? Because I'm under the impression Queen C6 wasn't, wasn't playable. But if you're saying it is, then you're saying Jeff just chose not to play it. Sure. Oh, that's a great move. I'm just not going to play it. I'm sure you're right. And because of you, we got the London again. So this game I'm dedicating to you, buddy Kai, pal. Enjoy. Me Metros 22. This one's for you. Oh, this looks like a really bad London gameplay. Oh no, I'm envisioning uh I'm envisioning a quick KO. We can just send it at my guy here. I don't like this move. This guy's on the sauce. He might not even take that. Yeah, I'm just gonna say he's up to something. We're up a piece thanks to the great London. Let's activate the rook a little bit. I'm not in the business of taking pawns. I'm in the business of pushing them. Baby. HG is coming up. I'm going to activate these uh, pieces. Mark my words. Okay, we got a pin on the bishop, which is nice. So I think he wants to play this move. It's easy to forget. That your queen's hanging. You guys think he's an A2? You think he's an A2 taker, Gory? That'd be quite the move. An A2 taker. Yeah, well, I definitely knew he was keen on that move. That much I know. Queen F7 holds that bishop for the moment. <laughs> this move is required.
Yeah, he's hanging on his early. Queen f7, queen g8. Found some good moves. Well, now he's an a2 pawn grabber. We really forced him into it, didn't we? We showed him that it was uh, going to be safe. The guy got in and out with two pawns. Uh-oh. He's really trying to do the extraction mission. Oh, he, he extracted the asset, but he forgot the, <laughs> the goal of the mission. The definition of uh, winning the battle but losing the war. Yeah, two more games. We got the white pieces though. We're playing the UK. London on London. I swear. These knight c6 moves are just bonkers. Every single time. I don't get it. Maybe queen a4. Queen a4 is always interesting because it threatens knight e5. When you're pinned and you move your queen, often if you're allowed to, the next best move will be knight e5. Maybe rook g1 next. Holy smokes, what a move. <laughs> oh wait, what? What is up with that? Uh, hanging stuff everywhere. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I want him to do this so that I can make the very, very functionally classy move. Zero, zero, zero. It always feels good to do that. They go here and then you castle and attack the rook. Feels great, man. Fifteen hundred game incoming. That was a question, by the way. It's nice we get the white pieces, though. I feel it. We're getting it balanced out back in our favor. We've had the black pieces too many times. Early H3 when I see this setup. I'm going to end up playing it anyway, so it doesn't change anything. Let's get that bishop out of there. Again, I'm going to end up playing it at some point. Let's just do it early. Not bishop d3 because I expect e5, e4. Master Almagaver, if you do exclamation mark membership. Click that link right there and that'll... That'll help. Thank you for thinking of us. We do have an affiliate uh, link with chess.com. 
exclamation mark membership, exclamation mark premium. I think they both take you to the same link. Ever thought of doing a no castling speed run? <laughs> yeah, we've thought about it. It's on our YouTube channel. I think I can take this, no? Probably true, Major Tom. We've done a lot of speedruns, so... It's always a good chance that we've done it already. But I love to hear the ideas, because... You never know. We might not have, and a lot of the ideas that people come up with are terrible, frankly. But uh, a lot of them are good. think we can get maybe some uh, maybe beating beat bro trap the rook I'm gonna need you to put your rook there uh, and not your knight we all know that this is the only move this one is not playable and unfortunately once your rook is down there, you're committed. You know what I mean? You're you're down here, you're trudging along, and you only have one move to do. Because it's the only move available. I calculated everything, and he has to do this. There are no other moves. What if knight d2? Well, I'll just take his rook. I'm not winning a full rook here. There are many, many, many moves for black to play. All he has to do is attack this knight somehow. Even rook d2, knight f6, knight g5, like... No matter what, I should be getting uh, either like, you know, rook for a piece, or in this case, a full piece, which I think I probably like more. Just taking a full piece here. This is an option, but I think it's a bit better to just take the piece. We want this king to come out and walk into a fork. This bishop uh, sits on b3 pretty nicely, and then just rooks to the middle, look for trades. Mm, I'd like to do it, but honestly, bishop b6 is unfortunately a good move. Let's go here, and if b6, we'll go there, and if bishop takes, we'll take that pawn.
Okay. Again, just looking for trades. Just looking for trades. Don't mind if I do. Rook A3 is a good move, but instead more trades. My opponent's doing the right thing, activating the king. No doubt about that. <laughs> um so here These pawns cannot advance anymore Okay, you got a B to 1500 to B a 1500. Yay, 1500, 1505 to be exact. Congrats on my new record. Thank you, thank you. I'm very proud, very happy. Thank you for making it to the end of today's episode of the London System series. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below and like the video and don't forget to subscribe right there and turn post notifications on so you never miss the next video. Speaking of next video, if you want more of the London System series, click right there.